guys welcome back to my channel I hope you guys are doing well um, so today's video is a what's in my makeup bag video um last because I was checking through my YouTube videos and the last time I did something like that was like eight months ago so almost a year ago and obviously my makeup routine has changed um, some makeup products that I used in my previous video I no longer use and some makeup products that I still use, I still use till now. Um, so today is just going to be a brand new video just on basically how I do my makeup and stuff like that and what's in my makeup bag, <laughs> most important. So because the way I organize my makeup, I don't have like a makeup bag um, because I store it in places so it's just like I open it and I can grab it it's like in a drawer sort of type of thing that I organized it into so it's not really like I have a makeup bag but here are some stuff that I would put in my makeup bag if I did have one okay so I'm gonna try to make this video as short as possible so we're gonna get started and this is my second time filming this because the first time I kind of flopped um, the audio wasn't that clear so I had to try again Okay, so the first item in my makeup bag would be the Lorac Pro Palette 2. This is one of my favorite palettes of all time. Gotta have it in my beauty bag. I give a lot of love to this palette. So many colors that I have used, and especially like these colors with the major dents in it, I give it the most love. Next product would be a moisturizer. Um, this moisturizer, I've been using it ever since I started out with makeup. I finished like four or five of these already, and I've already finished this bottle. I need to get a new bottle. However, I do think that I should change my moisturizer because my skin is... I feel like my skin has adapted to this so much that it won't adapt to any other moisturizers. So I need to find like other moisturizers that's good for my skin as well. But this one is by far one of my favorites. And then I have a foundation. Um, this is the Makeup Forever Professional Paris HD High Definition Foundation. Now, um, in my previous videos, I have always talked about the YSL foundation. And the YSL Fusion, Fusion Ink Foundation is also my favorite. But the thing is, it's winter time and that foundation also accentuates your dry spots on your face, which is not really good for winter, especially in cold time. So, um, this is like, I've been using this constantly because it's getting cold and it's like perfect. Oops. <laughs> Next thing I have is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I've used this for over a year, going on two years. Um, I've bought this ever since I started off using like major products and this one is so amazing. I feel like a little bit goes a long way. I still have a lot in here to use and it's like my favorite. Um, next thing would be concealer. I have the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I've talked about this um, a lot of times and it's just like one of my favorite concealers. It does its job, does what it says, conceals, hides, dark circles, enough said. And then the next thing is the CoverGirl Pressed Powder. I don't have to say anything about this because I started using this when I started off with makeup and it's it's been my favorite powder ever since just gives your skin that beautiful glow um, next up is the Anastasia brow powder duo in chocolate I've been using the dark color lately because my roots I haven't had time to dye my hair like lighter once I dye my hair lighter I would definitely go back to the lighter color but for now darker is the color I'm going for <laughs> and then the next product I have is the Maybelline Rocket Volume Mascara. It's been my number one fave ever since I purchased it like a few months ago. Um, still going strong with this pop. I was going to say product, but it's product. Yeah, still going strong with this product. And then next two is eyeliners. I can't just live with one eyeliner. I need to have a lower end and a higher end. Um, this one is a Sephora Retractable Waterproof Eyeliner in bl matte black. So this one's one of my favorites on days where I'm lazy to do makeup. And then the higher end is the NARS Larger Than Life um, liner. And I literally have this much left, which is kind of sad. Um, I already repurchased a larger edition. 
and NARS is perfect when you use like Lorac eyeshadows or Makeup Forever eyeshadows. It just glides on perfectly. Um, Next product is the Hoola by Benefit. This is the bronzer. Um, I've never thought that I would go with this bronzer because I never thought it would fit my skin tone. Um, the bronzer I used to use was the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil um, Matte Bronzer. And that bronzer, if you guys have it, you would know it's so dark. And this one, ever since I used it, I thought it was a universal shade. If I can use it, other people can use it as well. And then um, Bobbi Brown uh, blush. I've always been looking for like the perfect blush and this one is by far what I call perfect. Give your skin that glowy, beautiful, blushy skin. And this is in number 11, Nectar. Um, next two colors are, next two colors, next two lipsticks are the colors um, crimson and bikini pink. If you guys watch my Sephora haul, you would know what it is. Um, these are the Bobbi Brown lipsticks. They are my favorite, favorite colors. Um, kind of swatched it already. So this one is crimson, which is the dark reddish color. Perfect for autumn. This is the, um, bikini pink, and it's a nude pink color. And then my final, final lip product would be Smashbox Lip Lacquer in Pout. This is one of my favorite lip lacquers. It's just that perfect glossy pinky nude and it's just what that looks like. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, hopefully I wasn't blabbing too long even though it was like my take two. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!